Hello, my name is Edward. Today I'll be showing you how to install and use CCleaner, a simple yet effective application that helps you remove unnecessary files which can slow your PC. Uh, CCleaner also has a couple of other cool features which we'll go over towards the end of the video. Okay, let's open up a trusty browser. I prefer Google Chrome and we'll do a search for CCleaner. In Google it's going to be the first link because it's the most popular and relevant website and basically this is made by P Reform, a software developer and they offer it for free there are a few options you can download which uh, cost a little bit of money but they offer improved functionality but we're going to use a free one and click a link for a free download you'll see it's a really short download it's a small file it's a pretty simple program overall once you're done with that, you can go ahead and click it to open it. And of course, select English. Unless, of course, you don't speak English. And you're going to go through your basic annoying install menus. Next, I agree. License agreement, yada, yada, yada. Now, here, uh, this is sort of important. We're going to uncheck Add Desktop Shortcut and Add Start Menu Shortcut. And we're going to leave checked add run CC cleaner option to recycle bin and also to recycle bin context menu the reason for this uh, I'll explain later but basically it's gonna help us keep our computers from becoming cluttered with all kinds of icons so when you've done that click install and this window will pop up intelligently scan for cookies to keep yes uh, it's recommended it just helps you keep the cookies you need and get rid of the cookies you do not need. And this is the basic user interface for CCleaner. You have your tools on the left hand side, the cleaner tool, the registry tool, and the toolkit. First let's look at the cleaner tool. When you've clicked on this, you'll see a list of file types. And basically uh, it's a menu where you can check or uncheck the types of files you want CCleaner to remove when you run it. Uh, a lot of these file types that are unchecked by default you want to leave unchecked because they're necessary for the normal operation of your computer. Uh, but like this one here, Windows error reporting, I know I do not need it. Uh, this last checkbox is an interesting checkbox, white free space. When you check this one, basically uh, CCleaner will write over and erase all free space on your hard drive just for security reasons that might be useful now let's analyze uh, what CCleaner thinks that we should be deleting and it's a pretty quick process it depends how many files you have this window popped up because I have Google Chrome open go ahead and click OK to close Chrome and as you can see uh, it took 10.6 seconds there's those, all the files that we're going to delete when we run the cleaner and a lot of a lot of stuff you just don't need uh, as you can see right there it says 586 megabytes to remove that's quite a bit it's half a gig so run the cleaner that was just an analysis of what we did earlier so now we're actually going to run it now uh, this when you run the cleaner actually takes quite a bit longer this one took 39.3 seconds and uh, as you can see, 657 megabytes removed. Now, that may not sound like a lot, but uh, I run this pretty regularly, and it builds up. So now let's go ahead and check out the registry error checker feature of CCleaner. Uh, this feature will scan your registry, registry for any errors or issues you may have. So click Scan for Issues. Uh, it is also a pretty quick process. As you can see, there's quite a few things wrong with the registry. And most of this stuff isn't going to cause a major issue, but having a registry with a clean bill of health definitely improves your performance of your computer. So you want to back up the changes to the registry, definitely, just in case something goes wrong. And you can save the backup file anywhere. and go ahead and click fix all selected issues and that's it
just like that it's done okay now let's check out some of the other tools uh, CCleaner has and the first thing let's look at is this button right here startup what this is gonna let you do is modify which application start when you start your computer and here's a list of all things that can be started when you start your computer and some of the stuff you just don't need it slows you down when you start your computer uh, like this right here we're just gonna go ahead and click disable click on the ones you don't want and then click disable to turn them off iTunes helper I rarely use iTunes so let's go ahead and disable that and some of this other stuff you need some of you don't uh, keys helper definitely don't need these and that's it. The next thing we're going to look at is system restore button here and I don't have much set up in terms of system restore but this lets you manage or uh, remove any system restore points you have and that can be useful. Now let's look at this tool, the dry wiper. This is similar to the checkbox we talked about earlier, wipe all free space. Uh, this just gives you a little bit more functionality and utility when you're doing that. As you can see, you can choose which drive you want to wipe, and also you can choose the amount of times or the amount of passes you want CCleaner to do when uh, wiping your drive. The more passes, the less the less data that will be left behind, and uh, the more passes, the more time it's going to take. That can be a very timely process. Now, if you click on Options, you can change a few things about how CCleaner works. This button here will uh, send you to the website so you can upgrade if you're interested in that. Uh, and if you click settings, you can see the different checkboxes. These are the ones that we left checked when we installed the program. And uh, now I'll show you why we left those checked. So what those options are going to do is it's going to make it so you don't have a desktop icon or a start menu icon for CCleaner. But what you will have are some additions to the right click menu for your recycle bin. As you can see, two new options, Open CCleaner and Run CCleaner. If you click Open CCleaner, uh, the application will open. Uh, what's nifty here is if you click Run CCleaner, CCleaner will run according to the last settings you left it on when you ran it. And as you can see by a little notification or tray notification, it's done just that quick. Well, thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Uh, so go out there, download CCleaner, and speed up your computer.